that I was going to be back and I don't like to make promises and not fulfill them. So again, you guys are welcome to the show. Tonight, um, 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 Miss CC Mateen, aka Star Power, is in the house and she's going to be joining me. I just want to say thanks for coming on. Please invite your friends. Just a little disclaimer. Um, this show might not be okay for everybody. If it's not okay for you, please don't disturb the other people that are here. Just, you know, fly at the Satoka and go. Because sometimes when we are on here, there's a lot of times people be coming and be complaining about things. Oh, I told you I would change. I told you I would do this. That new year, like we some people then cheering. And we not know about it cheering. When you come on these shows, you know what to expect. If you don't know what to expect, pack your satoka, put it on your head, and go. Mm? Enough force for people to be here. There's a certain and specific audience that, in, that are okay with this. Just how they get food, that some audience, you know, some people are okay with. That is seen where they get shows that some people are okay with. They get certain food that some people can't eat. They are allergic to it. When they eat the kind of food, they can get breakout all on their skin. So if this show will give you a breakout, please pack your satoka and go in force for you to be here. But don't come and make other people seem as if to say they demon baby there or whatever happening. The industry is a fierce industry. If you don't understand, please, you don't have to be here. Mm? Nobody is here to can't tell other people how they want to talk, how they want to talk. I call those kind of people nitpickers. They don't have no good thing to say about anything. The only thing they'll be talking is about how the other one not good, how the other one not good, how does yeah, does not yeah, the other one yeah, the other one not yeah, stuff like that. No. There's a specific audience that come to watch the show because one, they follow the trends. Two, they know the history. Three, they are aware of what's going on. And this is their kind of show. If this is not your kind of show, just leave it. And go. Mm? And not bad thing. Just go, go, just be scrolling down. You will probably find your kind of show. And then you will be satisfied. But for smart or kind, yeah, be talking, oh, I told your chin, ain't nobody, my and pa, yeah, okay? My mom is in Liberia, my dad is no more. So at the end of the day, nobody can become parents, anybody. It's as simple as that. If it's not catching your fancy, please, I repeat, please go sleep. Or go find another life for you to watch. At the end of the day, this is what we're here for. We're here to talk and break into things that's happening in our community. Mm? 
Yesterday I was here and I made some declarations and said some things. And then new information came on my lap. I have to come back and give a part two or three of what's going on. So at the end of the day, if you don't like it, please don't burn your ears. Just pack your list at Toka and go look for another life that is going to meet your fancy. They want your part with coming tall about people. Mm? We come and talk about people who are going to come and break things down in regards to what is going on. And I'm going to be able to give my little psychological intelligence into the matter so that we can get to the bottom of this. So please, so mama, oh, papa, oh, then everybody, what can be picking, 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 picking? Enough for you. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be bringing star power on right now. Now you're going to be wasting no time. I'm going to be bringing star power on. That's <laughs> great for me. I have to deal with my people. <laughs> for me, I know how to cook your soup well, well. <laughs> I know exactly how to cook your soup well, well. <laughs> Yes, ma. They like the castle, but they like to complain. Oh, my people, your way. They think what's that power to me? And I'm smart, my people, your way. Eh? I want my ear. Yeah. <laughs> Star power is in the ass, people. <laughs> That's what they want. I can't do that. They want to dress more than it. They, they, they. <laughs> so, so that is my king breasting. I hear yeah, you, ma. You get it right. What I say, sir? What do you know, sir? Eh? <laughs> I love the What do you know, sir, ma? When you only watch stage, it's a free Ah, ma. What do you know, sir? Eh? <laughs> star power, ma. Your way, your sister power. Star power is in her sequel, my people. Ooh. Your will. Mm. I can't wait to bring her on. Your wits. I am bringing this lady on here. Y'all just hold on. Hold your horses. Mm. Let me make sure I got you here. Okay. So, um, let's see. I got you. Let's see. Stop power. Oh, what a woman. I think it's going hide somewhere. I need to. Yeah, there we go. All right, let me just push you here. See how best I can. You look gorgeous, though, honey. Thank you, love. Thank hmm. you. Now that glow, you know. Boss check looking correct, my people. I can't deny. I got to tell the truth. Thank you. You say tell the truth, you seen the devil, eh? Yeah. Now what we're doing here right now, we're talking the truth of seeing the devil because they want looking good. Definitely. I, to I mean, they like, do I want to see that come from? Like, see, see, just glowing, oh. In a player, oh, see, see, Jeff. I don't know, just ask the papi, and the papi, oh, the papi, too much. See, see, Jeff, glowing in a player, oh, my people, I said, see, see, Jeff, glowing. Eh, let me face that in a small so I can bring you on. I almost done. See, see, Jeff, glowing in a player, my people, I said, I don't know what in a man can you, you woman, but you look ten good. And you know, I, I know the secret, so I know what's going on. <laughs> so we're the old man then, now. We're the old man who got a rap. Ma, thank you, yeah. <laughs> we're Asian with grace. You see, Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lopez oh, went yeah. on stage mm -hmm. the other day. Everybody talking about Jennifer Lopez. You know how to take care of yourself. You look like Jennifer Lopez. At that age, I see how that woman looking correct. I mean, her whole body. You come, you can't, they put them, yeah. come, you can't go to Mr. Miami this. This before someone because the thing said Jennifer went to Mr. Miami. But I don't know rich people do different do the things differently though. But I ain't saying none to nobody. I'm not gonna school nobody on that one. I will leave it for, for another day. Better go check out everything like that. I will leave it for another day. Like yes, me. honey. What? Right you look good. Yeah, well, yeah, stop power, yo. Yeah. Why your thing? I already a weekend. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Okay, girl. You are on the world stage. You are wow. welcome. Welcome Thank to the you. show. To all my guests, I want to say you guys are welcome to the show. If you see me always looking this way, because the only way I can read the comments, okay, I got my, I got it separate because I don't want to go on another screen. So I'm just like, when I go like this, I'm just trying to peep at the comments, even though I'm not going to be like 
too distracted by these comments tonight. Yeah, they'll be fine. Oh, it's everybody okay, will be know. okay, you know. So, Cece, you on a world stage? I think this is going to be a combination of what we were supposed to do and then a combination of what going on because you happen to be kind of like fully in this topic to the, I mean, yeah. to the to the zenith of it. And there is no way that the Everything Liberia platform can leave you out. Yeah. So we did something yesterday. We did something earlier on today. We're going to do something on Friday. And you are welcome again to come on Friday because you also part and parcel of that other situation that is going oh to be discussed goodness. on that Friday. My power is shining there. Oh, no. You're, 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 you're good. You're good. So with that being said, I want to ask you, how was your trip? Um, first of all, happy new year. And, um, I'm so grateful. Like we all can live to see this new year right. and you being one of the pieces, <laughs> you know, yeah. Happy new year. But, um, of course, you know, my trip was amazing. Uh, I went for three purpose. And, uh, when I got there, I already had an agenda Okay. and that's the agenda I follow. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So um, you say you went for three purposes. What were your purposes? One purpose was, of course, you know, I'm a big advocate of humanitarian. Yes. I love to give back. Right. So um, one of my projects was my humanitarian work. And then two was to launch my brother store. Okay. C19. And then three was family, which is everybody saw my king in my kingdom. Right. Mm. Yes. <laughs> we'll get to that one. <laughs> and um, what was the agenda? You you just your agenda was to go there, and you kind of like uh, what was your agenda that you had? Oh, it was just, it was like for me to go and launch my you know my um, CC meeting for Brada, which okay. I did. All the dresses I did, people been renting, so kudos to everybody that been supporting endlessly. I'm so blessed. And then of course you know I donated to 700 kids, me yes. and my boyfriend. Thank you. We went to two villages to Thank clean you. it. And one community center, one community. Uh -huh. And then, of course, I spent some quality time <laughs> with my partner. My quality I time, I want to pass my quality time with this. That. Hey! <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, I did. If I pass my quality time. So, I mean, we brought it here today because, you know, a couple of days ago, some people had you implicated. Mm -hmm. you know sharing of a picture which i don't know why they say that you but i mean mm -hmm. i got my sources different so okay. and at the end of the day i want to start from there somebody went okay. no was it dj wheezy went on his mm -hmm. live first and then when okay. dj wheezy left from his live i think audrey did a live and she accused um the pic she didn't say she didn't want to leak the picture up but she said her picture was leaked so mm -hmm. the first thing she said then she said it went to Fanta, Fanta sent it to somebody, and then the person sent it to you, and you sent it to me. I, I think that was the order that it that 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 it sent in. Let's start with that. When you heard or when you saw the picture, what was one of the first things that came to your mind? You see, let me just make this clear. And I met Audrey in person. Her hair was bent down. I met them on three different occasions. In Liberia, I I, Yes, of course, in Liberia. Okay. I even know where they stay, not too far from me. You see, you see those pictures? Mm -hmm. I received those pictures before anybody on the social media. Are you for real? I received it from Liberia. I so you received the picture that you didn't even call your friend and more bloggers said or do? I received the pictures from her own camp, okay? Because, you know, they not do some dirty deal. So people there now <laughs> not having the back anyway like they're supposed to, quote unquote. Wow. But however, the only thing I'm not gonna go in duty, but just make her understand I'm star power. My star will continue to shine even if I'm not there because my knee can be mentioned in the room where I'm not gonna be. And God spoke to me and told me that before. She see your knee will be called where you will not even be in that room. So she I'm a star power. Yes, I did receive it. And yes, I, I I supposed to even put it everywhere, but you know, by the grace of God, she was lucky because of my king. I just you know he keep telling me take it easy because I'm ready to expose everything. It's 2020. I'm the richest female. Check mark. Okay. So um, at the point, I'm gonna let it out. And guess what? 
I will be in Liberia in July. You okay. know, we can meet again and she can express herself to me. Okay. But once you can't express yourself when you see me, but you want to sit on this little FB, I don't take you serious. I take you like a joke. You know, she saw me. When you um, started your sh your your um, business, I think yes. some months ago. In June, June seventh, it was on my birthday when I dropped. June, June I 7th. remember um, there was a little controversy going on here, and Audrey had like gone on Facebook to say some things about you. I, mm -hmm. I, I can bring it up, but I don't want to mess this whole thing up. So maybe doing the show, I will okay. try to see if I can do it. Can you just kind of go into a little details about what she said, that first post that she had put up? You see, the sad part was, um, I don't know what I did to Audrey because I, 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 I didn't know her. You know, she came in my inbox and all I did was to advise her as a real woman. Um, as you guys know, I'm an open book. I don't buy and blow. I don't spit and lick it. I have no fear. I'm a warrior. I'm a woman. When I get to my country, I go to the raw places that people can never even think of going. That's so right. who am I supposed to be fear again? Um, she wrote a post on my birthday mm -hmm. and on my website that it was I was a fraud. I'm selling Dunga Flair from Walmart. She, you know, both of them, which is my XPR. I hold responsible for a lot of things mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, I worked with him right. for two solid years. And this is why he would never get no business mm -hmm. because he's not professional. Mm -hmm. He don't keep privacy. Mm -hmm. Okay. She wrote that and insulted me for no reason. Wow. For no reason. And all I did to this young woman was to make her understand mm -hmm. the real deal. And which is now the real deal is out. And I bet she thanking me right now in the corner, but she can't come out. She'll have to carry that in her grave. She can never come out and say, thanks to CC Maintain. She told me exactly what's going on right now. Right. She can never do that. Wow. And which I understand because there are some things we all going to carry in our grave with us. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. That's so it. um, let's go into when you saw the picture, when you saw the picture, how did you, what did you, what was one of the first things that came to your mind? When I saw the picture, I was not in denial. I was in the house one day when DJ Weezy naked his girlfriend. He naked her. Okay, I'm saying it yet. Um, she was supposed to go to school because she used to sleep over. She was uh, she was in the high school when I was there. So she was staying with us. It was me, her, my assistant, and Weezy, and then the other boy, they called Musa. Musa now apparently took his job. Oh. At the uh, uh, radio station, okay. he doesn't work for Cool FM no more. So the the guy he introduced, they throw him out because apparently he has said some funny funny things all around okay. about the CEO of Cool FM, which is Chris Onanuka, which apparently at that time, Mr. Onanuka, one of my sponsors, he was <laughs> not my government governmental grandpa no no, no. Chris, but don't worry about that he's he's a highly yeah. respectable man he's always yeah. there in, in minnesota and he yeah. hang Thank he you. hang well and so yeah. don't even worry about that yeah he supported me a lot especially through everything i went to right and i'm I just want to take this time to tell him thank you for his endless love Chris, and thank you at that time thank you chief yeah. thank you yeah so you said he he naked again yeah, he, he threw her out of the room that morning, and me and my auntie have to, we felt so bad, so we brought her in our room. I think it was having a misunderstanding. So when you're talking about a domestic violence thing, that normal thing for people that DJ Weezy, because they feel like their name is empty ringing, so they're using their name to disrespect people. They're using their, their little empty thing, okay, to just play with women. When I was there, thousands of girls always came at the house. I used to send them home. I'm like, what the heck? What is this? You understand? Right. <laughs> yes, when I was working with him after the club. And those are some of the things I told my sister, Audrey. I said, my boss at that time, which my Pete era, right. a lot of girls goes around here. I said, and, you know, my seven yeah, I've been spending on him. He's an upper 20s. You know, so when you go there, work. But she, the Audrey, made me understand she was married. Oh. So I kind of laid back. Yes. She said, oh, I'm married and blah, blah. I said, well, I just want to tell you everything. But I don't know how come we went from 
me telling her the facts and the truth. Mm -hmm. So every time she was just posting funny, funny thing, but moving forward, the reason why I'm speaking on it now because I met her in person and she couldn't say fun. So I just, you know, I understand Facebook can make people ugly at times. <laughs> <Get it>. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. So this is something that you, you, you kind of like have seen him do. So you weren't surprised to hear this. No, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't surprised at all. I wasn't surprised. Okay. And at that time, yeah, the girl was 18. Yeah. She, it was early in the morning and we felt so bad. We felt terrible <laughs> that day. I was like, what? She got to put her school uniform on and she had to come in the, in the, in the uh, living room. And then we brought her in my room to put her uniform on. And I had, you know, conversation. And me and her was like this. And this is why our relationship working relationship messed up because I didn't want that bad luck. Like right now, God is blessing me. That girl used to cook soon morning for me. She bring food when we go out and make sure I'm okay. Even before I drink a water, some of them used to drink it before I drink a water. So when that whole thing happened with that phase or fake relationship, I was not up to that. And I, I didn't mind why my, at that time, my cliques, these are the reason me and my cliques we become unclicked. <laughs> because I, I can't. I spoke my mind. Mm -hmm. I told them. They said, oh, are you supposed to talk about his business? I said, no, I'm working with this guy. At the end of the day, anything falls on him will fall on me. Right. And tomorrow, at least let people see me as the right person today. Right. Then they say, but CC knew why she didn't say, eh, eh. Right. nah. I'm putting nobody heavy Kenya on my back, mama. I can't. I do fine. I gotta okay. be looking. Got it. So, um, I know you spoke to a gentleman named Bob, and I was kind of like touching Bob on something civil, yeah. and similar. Bob Conan, who happens to be right now, he's yeah, here. who happens to he be the, be the 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 ex husband? Are they still married or are they? No, he have a wife now. So there sure. is is her ex, who happened yeah. to be the ex husband of um the most talk about. Let's yeah, first and foremost. You always communicate. We let's communicate first and foremost them. talk about the name. Where did she get it? Most talk about name from. Uh, what came to my plate was when she started posting funny, funny things about me. And what, like you said, something you said earlier, which is true. We are the Google. We are the Google in this industry. We sit here. Mm -hmm. We receive so much tangible things on people. If right. I know, if people just know, they will just. Sometimes say, you know what? I'm not saying nothing because these people are dangerous. Right. And you know what I'm Like right. you and CJ, I was sitting here today. <laughs> and all my way I get, I can't try you because <laughs> trust and believe me. You are the first person to even receive my son's letter. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> so from that moment, I was like, oh, okay. But um, we, we, hey, we again, I'm sorry about that. I, I should have kept it as I kept it in. I'm sorry about that. I, I will always apologize because I'm not too big yeah. to apologize. I think I thought you were coming from my kid with the information that was coming. So that's why I thought, you know, no, no. so again, I take this time to say I apologize for that because I should have just sat on it and just, you know, left it alone. So I apologize. Yeah. Yeah, and I did. I always receive information on my media personnel. Right. The, the the way I have grown up, I don't talk about media like you are media like me. Any problem, anything I care about you, I would never put it outside because I know one day my own dirty laundry might come out too. Right. And you will see it. That's right. why when I had an altercation with C. Clary, I had so much stuff about her. Right. I didn't say anything. A lot of people, I don't put that stuff out. Right. Not because I'm naive. But because of the sense I have that tomorrow it could be me and these people also they got their views. Right. We all got the views here. Right. Yeah. So Yes. Um again I want to say welcome to the show. If you are just joining, I'm here with um Star Power, the only star power in the industry. Hello everybody. She Happy has also year. known herself, she has also made known herself to be the richest blogger, media <laughs> person in the in the industry right now. <laughs> Um, and we want to say welcome to her. Thank you so much for Richard, taking the. Let me just break the news. Did I send you my balance in my account? Right you, 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 you did, ma'am. You did. I sent it to you. Let yes. me can even send you my account. You can sign in on. on no, no, online. no. You, 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 you did send me. You did send me the balance. I mean, you came back with a chunk of change, and it wasn't a single Thank digit you. number. You came you back with a chunk of change. I got facts of everything I say. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Talk talk. Yes. 
So you're right. You did come back with a chunk of change. Even though you spent a lot of money there, you still came back with a chunk of change because that living you were living like pure man. I read a princess living you were living over there for that three weeks. And, and you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> I made my kid rich and money lazy. No, I mean it was it was, it, it was correct. So let's talk about Bob. Um, yeah. I know Bob said some things that I heard, but I want to make sure that those things are authenticated because I just don't want to be talking and start to say, "Oh, this, this, this." What did Bob tell you about he and Audrey's relationship in um when he lived in Australia? Well, he said that, you know, he left from the state when he got to Australia. Um, somebody hooked them up, you know, to start a relationship. Even the, I don't mean to say anything, but um, I'm not saying it in a bad way. Even before they could have child, they have to do a lot of medication work, you know. So he said that when, you, you know, he was there and they link up King, they had a child. And uh, he come to find her, she was messing with a lot of his friends. Oh, okay, messing with a lot of his friends, and that's how confusion started in the home. And for each time when he bring it to her attention, you know, now we oversee when you call police for men, it's a problem. You see, so it started becoming a problem, and then in the home of the place she slept, a lot of people started to have problem with her because she kept sleeping with different, different little boys in that Australia and not just little boys, but some of her husband's friends. And we started creating program in her home. So now she was finding a way to cover it up. That's how she started to be like lying on the husband about- I finished like, man, I she. Are you for real? I, look. I don't bite and blow. And I, I like the last time when she talked, like I did fake fish, I laugh at her. You are small point point for me, so yeah. You are point point. You know what I do? I sit back, I do a comeback. Even you know, a comeback go after 10 years, right? Because oh. then you collect oh, yeah. facts. So I'm the kind of person if I don't speak right away, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna talk. So today I will put everything on saying, like I said, I might be in Australia in April, I will look for her too. Can you hear me? Yeah, I so from what I understand, you saying that the behavior was and ultra carry to la bureau down new behavior. And not yes, she 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 mess she was messing around online or should I become when she started writing about me? People from there, mind you, I don't live in Australia. I don't I don't live there. I live in the state. But people from the Aussie Aussie state started to send me information on her. Then I contacted her husband, which me and her ex-husband, right now we just had a conversation. We just thought while I was on my way here. I, we just had a conversation and he was just apologizing to me because when the whole situation happened to Jessica, Mr. Bob was very disappointed in me. And as in Soka, who is, you know, one of the videographers over there, those are people that, that used to communicate with me. So when, you know, my XP Ara jumped behind her, it was looking like I was the wrong person because I also connected them. She wanted to connect with Bucky Raw and Weezy. So there's a girl in Australia called Gigi. Gigi contacted me mm -hmm. and asked me to you know, speak to her because at that time she had sent me a message mm -hmm. where it went to the request for okay. a year. I didn't know. Okay. So when she came out in my inbox, was a girl called Gigi told me about her. That's how we connected. We started to talk, and she even told me how the other Australia talk show host is, you know, I don't know, jealous, don't want to work with her. She said a lot of things about that other talk show host there. Oh, wow. Like that. I won't buy that different day story yet. Yeah, that different but, day story. However, she told me how, you know, oh, CC, I just want to go. I want to be in the industry, blah, blah, blah. I said, that's a good thing. When you get there, you close your pum pum. Close it up, go there and, and promote your Australian entertainers because nobody knows them. Nobody even cares about them. So it's a good thing that you will go there and connect. At that time, I was promoting my XP Ira. So I was like, he's the best. Right. I said, but remember today, I will tell you this. He has a fiance that was staying with us when I was there. She said, oh, thank you for telling me I'm married, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, good. That time, having spoken to Bob 
uh, Connie, I didn't talk to, you know, at that time, it was right. just her. Yeah. So I told her everything. Everything. I told her it. I even told her that I purchased the ring for the girl because this gone December, it was supposed to be the wedding. And I supposed to be the one sponsoring the whole wedding. Do you understand? I do. So I was ready, not up to it. I was hot. I was pissed. And that's why I just forgot about everything. And today, today, I choose to bring it outside. Mm -hmm. And I want you to ask me anything. I will put it outside how it is. Okay, mama. I will. Wow. So from what I just got off from you, you saying that they put your left here, that Audrey doing like people that something she's been doing for a long time, or also people that know about it. Yeah, like while her knee changed, actually her knee was Audrey, but it changed to the most talk about because she couldn't keep it close. You know, she got to let it out. Some people, if they not have sex, if they don't sleep, mama. <laughs> Me, I, I won't start catching flag going fast soon. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Hey, Jessica, I won't catch flag and go back quick. Ma, I hear you, ma. Hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the comments, man. I'm not even, I'm just going to read the comments and keep on moving. To be honest with you, nobody's going to, 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 to uh, you know, distract me today when it comes to, to whatever. Don't comment on us. Don't comment on us. We help you to release the stress because the fact that they are watching us, mm -hmm. that means they're still too miserable. And the stress style. Yeah, and I've been some people from, from everything like Bureau. So the way they not come, my page here to listen. <laughs> If they just made me feel, I would just put a black one in and then we you know we'll not be seeing each other on face, but then we'll have to go you up in sick, can sick I profile. <laughs> can I tell you something, Sister Jessica? What I read in a book, I want to open a book. Uh -huh. uh, uh, you know, she said that remember the people that write negative comments or any comments that think they're insulting somebody, that means that person got serious issue. Obsession. Sometimes they can be obsessed for you, man. It was to say it. They can be in serious so, denial. So I know some of y'all can be in denial, so it's okay. You know, I'll just leave you alone. Y'all know what? I need to, my hair needs to be light on a black button this 2020. black your face. Uh, yes, man. I will leave you so you can get to your tears. Because sometimes they can get very day blue face. No, no. Let me give you a piece of advice today. Remember, everybody is entitled to their opinion. It's okay. That's life. <laughs> oh wow so yes um let's go on you know sometimes people type it in capital letters and oh we got a one for you to read it when you read it can you hear it ah <laughs> uh, yeah i'm not even going to be responding you're not my special guest yes so anything you are you're, you're at liberal so write what you want to write here now your feelings you express you yourself you guys are my guests you're my friends yes express yourself you yeah you're too much i gotta do you welcome to the show so yes. you say you saw these people in liberia for three times oh yes i did okay i did and i can give you the exact location Okay. Actually, the house is right behind <laughs> the little theater shop, uh, which is five minutes away from um, the first house I rented for my PR. By the way, y'all know I won't clean him up and bake the cake that everybody eats in the ice. Right. Cream. And like I said on my life, but you see, in the middle of that cake, I pull a hot shit inside. Oh. And when it reached to that my shit, it's it, it going to be it, it's so disgraceful right now. Until, I'm not lying. I'm sitting there laughing, jumping for glory every mm. minute. Oh, yes. And then uh, I met them at the uh, GSA Junction, but me and my auntie was walking because uh, my auntie has sent some, you know, they had bundle last year by Audrey to bring for me, and then she was going to mail it from Australia. Okay. But then when she got there, she never gave it to me. So my auntie wanted to meet her. Well, that day was me, my auntie, my security. I said, please don't let her put all her wrong. I beg you because she had on a hot blonde wig on and um, they was going to some kind of fashion. I know pageant, Georgie, she was a judge that day. So we all was at the junction because me, I always to catch my keke, my, you know, motor right. car. I wanted to experience things. Right. So I saw her hot blonde wig mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and then the day she was cleaning up with the little artist mm -hmm. because it wasn't no Zoko, it was the upcoming artist, the okay. underground artist that they put together to go clean up. And that's why nobody talking about that because it was a fake fraud attention. Wow. You know? Yeah. So, and that day we passed by me and hubby was jogging. Okay. And we passed right by me. 
she was brushing and taking some picture. And I'm okay. like, what's up, bro? Oh, this is my cat. So, yeah, we're chilling. We're yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was it. Wow. Know? So let's talk about the allegation. First and foremost, um, people are saying the two people said they had an accident. There was an accident that occurred. Mm-hmm. And I think DJ Weezy went on his show and he was trying to like, you know, express himself about the whole thing. And then Audrey came on her show and she mentioned our names. Mm-hmm. And then when Anthony Fufana came on his show, which you and I was part of, you know, we listened to his show. He tried to get his man some, you know, like so advice. advice. And she was still trying to come at us that day on the show. No, she, um, she would be okay. She was coming for herself because when I say she just saw me, uh-huh. she just met me. <laughs> well, just in a free man land, mama. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? You're right. So um, I think Audrey did a live tonight. I don't know what the live is all about, but I just want to kind of like talk about the, the relationship because from what I heard, she had about three different relationships in Liberia. And it was the, the, the governmental godfather that sent for her, not DJ Weezy. Mm-hmm. And when she went, she was kind of like between the, the three of them. Um, I don't know, you know, where to start because I came here yesterday and, you know, yesterday on my life, I said a lot of things, you know, in her favor. Mm-hmm. Just to 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 leave my life and then go to my inbox and people are like, oh, you know, this, this, this and stuff like that. They start pulling all the regs from here and there. And then I had mm-hmm. to come back. What what do you think? Do you think that she will actually come out and speak the truth that she was beaten? Or do you think that she's just going to hide it? This is the story I know. Um, and which I got it from the reliable source from the camp. They have got into problem because of D.Y. D.Y. is the fiancé that's still living in the house that Audrey is paying rent for. Okay. Okay. Point of correction. I will say it again. Uh-huh. D.Y. is the fiancé uh-huh. of D.J. Weezy. Okay. That stays with him in the house that she rented for. Okay. Now... And many times, because remember, they were 15 minutes away from where my house is. Mm-hmm. So most of the people that visited her also visited me. Right. Okay? Right. Uh-huh. La Gura is small. When you get there, everybody won't know you. You have cake. On many occasions, there's a guy called Victor. Uh-huh. I don't sugar uh-huh. Okay? Um, we used to lock Audrey in the room. Because... He will be on the phone with that girl, okay? And he hasn't gone to the people, uh, uh, daughter, parents to say, I'm not getting married to your daughter. So all they know that they will get married. Do you understand? Yes. They got engaged. The parents know they are engaged, all right? Now, Diwa is the girl that continues to cook for DJ Weezy. She cooked. She goes to the house. She clean up. The little brother of her comes and do his dirty laundry. Wash the clothes. Okay? Now, she was getting locked in the house many times because they were going to argument. So this day, she walking on him on the phone with a, 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 a D.Y., which is his fiance. Now, when she walking on the phone, she got angry and pissed. And that's how she said she was going to her mother. She didn't go to her mother. She went to Joseph Dean, Joseph Bailly Dean or whatever. That Auntie May. In Auntie May. Yeah, Auntie May. Uh-huh. Okay. She said, yeah, today my hubby birthday. <laughs> okay. They said nobody will wash your clothes again. Uh, so, now, nah. Joseph or uh, Auntie May was the middleman. Oh. She, she spent a night and then the government, her, who also rented her house for her first uh-huh. when she went to Liberia, she even told me. Uh-huh. She told me that the guy was renting a house. She was talking to a government. Her. If you guys can look at her screenshot, she right. I think you have it. It's better to date a government. I don't know you saw that. Post yeah, it's before. better to date a government. 
or government and uh, you know or governmental co than this than these broke niggers. Uh -huh. they, another one say all the girl he's she on the phone where he eating it. I don't know, y'all saw that. Yeah, too, I saw right? that one too. Okay, because I kept receiving all those funny, funny, right. stressful. And that's how we know relationship is shaking. When right. you see those funny, funny posts. Yeah. Now when she went now to the government place, they drove around, they do things. Then somebody went and fish with it. They said, ah, crap. You know now, <laughs> your girl is with somebody. And he said to now go in there to, to get on a ship. And you know, if I were here, I was just going to swallow it because I get in my support, I will focus on my support. And you know, but he wanted to show the ownership. That's how can they got in a drastic fight. And to be honest with you, one day she will come out and say the truth. Her eyeball was closed. She was looking very bad. Or uh, one of her Aussie, Aussie brother sister went to the hospital to see her where her eyeball could not open. She was looking very bad or when it happened. So what it was trying to do now was by calling to the guy I spoke to, which is her brother in Australia, said they wanted her to come back so she can treat herself because she's looking bad up. Now, she, is, she told you know, her family, some of the family in Australia, that if she speak the truth right now, her Lovely boyfriend might end up killing her. I just heard so why, yeah, that he told the little girl that. that this woman here was family to him. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that's why I start for now with that whole information. But I'm still digging and I will still be doing a couple of shows and I, I, I'm waiting for her to respond and mention my name. Then I will come also because I me mean, when you mention my name, that means you bringing you letting the <laughs> you letting the lion from the cage. Don't put me outside. Keep me in the cage, because yeah. So there's the guy that hang around them there called Vic. He's the one submitted a lot of screenshot. I got a lot, even that conversation where she was like, "Okay, and, you know," and she was only picking up CIC call and blah blah blah. CIC and her was never friends, <laughs> but Wizzy kept calling everybody. Right. You know? Yeah, so that how come that where we start for now? Have I spoken to the fiance? No, she is pissed with me because, like I said, said Jessica, I was so guilty and I felt so bad, but I was innocent at the same time because God knew, and you know, I knew this girl, I know the girl, so I didn't want that kind of thing to happen because I had a link to it, I had a link up, like I linked them up. It's just like I refer somebody to you. And, you know, and that's how that girl, the girl blocked me on Facebook, my people. She <laughs> blocked me all over Facebook. Yeah, she wasn't talking to me. I don't know if that he went in or in back because what he's good at, he always go in his girlfriend's name in back to comment, respond, and write on the pages insulting people and making things like it's them cussing, but that's him. That's the kind of pity little guy he is. I also just heard that. The governmental Guapa, the Hamet guy, mm -hmm. he told his girlfriend who living here in America that um, um, the most talk about was his his family people. Mm -hmm. That what he told the woman, you know, because mm -hmm. the woman was asking him, who is this girl that they got your name attached to? And he said that his yeah. family. Hey, hey, yeah, Tina be my darling. How are you, love? Wow. Okay, so we're moving on, Sissy, darling. Thank you again for being on the show. No if problem. And I'm always here, you know, when people mention my knee, I love it. Because then I mean, you inviting me and uh -huh. I'm ready to come. And, you know. And from what I also understand, they say he blocked her from having access to Facebook. That means he took her Facebook account from her. Yeah. she. I think he's not even posting on the wide media and stuff. No, he and took his fiance's Facebook account from her, so she does not yeah. have access to social media. Exactly. Yeah, he did. But but, he but did. how can Wizzy do that kind of thing? Yeah, he, yeah, he did. He he you know he did because the girl for some reason did well even for graduation. I even sent she went out a Brazilian hair. I sent it for her. I sent money for her graduation when she was graduating. So for her to just black me and don't ask me what's going on. Even when I went to Liberia, when I went to Liberia, you know, we tried going to her house, but I didn't want her to bother her. I said, maybe she don't want to see me. 
But I know she heard I was in town. You know, and I pray to God one day. I just want to say this. They were most stuck at wall. Cry me a river. Cry me a <laughs> river. God know I was never part of this. I never accepted that relationship. Not because I have to be his mother or his sister. Because I knew it was not good. Because he been having that little girl since she was 16 years old. 16 and years I, old. Yes. Me and that little girl has a deep, you know, she he used to be her teacher. He used to be her teacher. Yeah. And they've been together for a very long time. It's not lying. Yeah, because I think she's 22 now. Or 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 6 to 7 years. Yes, yes. So me and her, we used to, because she was in the house with us. So we had a lot of conversation at times, even at the shop, she would come and say. But DJ, we did not small mail or to close some of their Facebook page down. Yeah. Wow. But hey, uh, uh, my auntie didn't know her house. If you need any information, numbers and stuff, I can get that. It's easy. We know where she stayed. My mom really issuing to talk about the information that dropped on us today from Australia, but we're gonna keep it cool. Keep it, y'all. Keep it. I beg you. And tomorrow, Friday, Friday I beg you. They get some information that dropped from Australia, man. I mean, from in a, the woman own camp. Oh yeah. And at the end of the day, the information did not drop on me, so I can't really say anything right now. I'm not cutting you out. It was her own camp that said the government gave her, I know Central Link gave her house because they lied. She lied on Mr. Buck. Please, let go. I told Mr. Buck, say, let go touch your how you forgive me. I got nothing to do with this. Please, I beg you, Papa. He said, oh, no, I know. I'm seeing everything now. He told me straight out. He said he was very angry with me. He told wow. me because I knew his brother, you know, as his older and I always used to communicate. Right. So I was so, I felt so bad. Yo, I felt so bad. She she accused that man of raping. She accused that man of raping. That man went to jail for a couple of days. You know that? Wow, I didn't know. He went to, yes. He went to jail for a couple of days. Like how he left. He in the state now. So when she accused the man, she said the man wanted to rape her child because she didn't want a marriage anymore? Yeah. She said, no, it's what she told me that the, the, the man uh, molested her child. That's what she told me. You know? Wow. Yeah, it was just very dangerous. And, she, and when I spoke to her after she posted my expire, whatever she said, because she felt like I'm on some fake page. You're a little puppet. I don't go after fake page. I go on fake page for Donald Trump, Oprah Winfrey, Michelle Obama. Those are where I would do fake pages. I can't do fake pictures on no little puppet in this in our community. How old, is like, how old is DJ Weezy though? DJ Weezy is older though. He like my age group? He's probably 44 now. So he's like about one year older than me. Yeah. That yeah. old man sitting out there looking at someone like young boy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Man, I see you sipping or you the woman there. I what though? <laughs> yeah, that was that <laughs> wow. So, um, it's here, yeah, it getting serious. So, wow, I don't even know. I, I mean, I'm just lost, and I'm usually not lost for words. So, I'm just all yeah. that kind of information here is just, it's, I mean, this thing is deeper than than you. I haven't ready started yet. I mean, this whole month, I'm dedicating my page to them because I'm ready to come back. And as moment is if we. <laughs> I send you all my receipts that Weezy ate up my business money. I wow. will send a photo of my C shop business I supposed to open. He sold it. He didn't give me no money. Wow. You know, they are the people that destroy the industry. Can I tell you something, Wall? Have you guys heard about PCK and L. Frankie? Do you know why those boys can leave Liberia? Their own, I don't know how they call it, the boss have destroyed their tarnished their image. Many people wanted to work with those kids, especially when that son dry, you won't kill my dog. Right. He messed up those children so badly until now they just in Liberia, they can't go nowhere. Mm. Only next go to China, then they come back. Why you see P Square and they go in places? But I want one of people because we are the one sabotaging them. <gasps> okay. He sabotaged a lot of people. He said so many things about a lot of people. And now I see him kissing that behind. I'll just be laughing. 
I never knew about Master Queen being gay. He told me. Oh? I never knew. Where, 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 where? Since he won a horse. No, she can't be gay. Because I know she's been with men. So let's just say bisexual. No, she's both. That's what he told me. So she's, he, she's bi. She's bi. She can go bi both and ways. Then, and then a uh, uh, double H is also gay. He told me <laughs> that. One part I, know it. I and, knew that one long time. And then boss DJ Blue was eating Master Queen. He told me that. I mean, the list goes on. I can drop it right now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm. La pure, la small round country. That small place, that small place, man. Oh. That small place. You know when I'm working with him, he told me so many things, and that's why I expected him to shut his mouth. <laughs> Even when a girl want to call me, go tell the girl, baby, don't say anything about CC because CC know about me too. You see what I'm saying? You know, I work with you for two years. So everything I'm saying here right now, some people will carry the story as it is. You're right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it, it's so sad. It, it's a shame. Even the allegation with, you know, the late are happy with, you know, Quincy B. He right. said, yeah, we ran. We were the first person that went to the scene and, and cried about CRC, know what's up. Yeah, he told me that. Wow. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and now when I see him posting about those people and commenting, I just laugh at him like a little puppet because I'm like, dude, mm. are you okay? Are you you say all these things about these people and now you you know when you cut off people they're afraid that you'll pull a butt off that because even when I was sitting with uh on, on Miami Beach was another play I met them on the beach we was sitting with I was sitting with DJ Blue and DJ Blue was telling me about my brain ambassador how he proud of me for me to have a brain ambassador to run my product so he wanted to have a meeting with me Later on, my, my HP hour was just forcing yourself to come say, hi, hey, boss. You know, in my field, like, well, what's up with this dude? Like, we just chilling. I don't know, right? <laughs> so people been saying that you're older than your fiance, blah, 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 and stuff like that. And um, I just want for you to clear the air because, you know, for your, for, for your maturity, and, you know, if people follow your story, they might think that you and I are around the same age, but I know that's not the yeah. case. So um, mm -hmm. today, I want for you to come out and express and let people know because a lot of people think I even when you when you left the all our Australian blogger were talking she about about she you know poor man poor man. She should be worried about a leg and her own man can be sitting now on a drink table. That right now will post on the picture Jerry like oh wow. And so <laughs> I want for you to tell us your age and your and your and your man age because the people say. You 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 uh -huh. rocking the cradle. Guess what? What? Gabrielle Union is married to doing, uh -huh. and she owned it. I just want to bring this attention to our ignorant people. Uh -huh. And uh, Keisha Cole uh -huh. is ma has a baby for twenty six years, all right. Mariah Carey was dating Nick and where she was almost twelve years. Right. Um, Tina Turner, <laughs> which is one of my idol, actually married to an Italian guy who was almost what 10, 15 years younger than her. What I want to say is today is my king birthday. Okay, uh -huh. I'm older than my king in months. Okay, so why he turned 33 uh -huh. today? I turned 33 June 7. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I look older because everybody uh, uh growing up. No, let me, let me, let me let me let me come in. Let me talk for you. Mm -hmm. You look older because you've been through a lot. Yeah, you've been through a lot for somebody mm -hmm. to to be on a book challenge. To so come to America by almost virtually herself, to go to a, to move from Minnesota to go to another state, to 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 even get to the place that you got to when I met you about five or seven years ago. Sissy had her own studio. She had her own show. She was doing the not the thing you're saying that behind the computer you're like doing. I mean, a TV show Thank that you. she was doing, and yes, and, and, and all those things. And then she has continued to progress. So, you know, at the end of the day, people will be like, oh, this, this, and stuff like that. But thanks for clearing the air so that at least and people. Was, uh, you know, it's not about it. Once the D is cool, honey, y'all be just fine because I got enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you know, some people be wondering how can they people that need that you just call yeah, they're looking nice and fresh and stuff like that. Y'all not know the secret. 
Mm? You already know the secret about staying young. If you all knew the secret about staying young, you all will try and look for the ways and means to stay young. But you know yeah. what? I'm going to leave this topic for another day because I will be coming here to talk about it. Mm? Yeah. You all see how some people's skin looking so good and nice. Why you look at me right now? Look, look what I'm doing. Just see what I'm wearing. Oh, man, honey. Mm. So, okay, at the end of the day, we'll leave that for another day. But even if she see 10 years old, 5 years old, 7 years old, 8 years old, older than her man, that's yeah. the one he choose. The guys on younger <laughs> men that do not like small girls. Let me tell you the thing today. The guys on younger like men that do not, I repeat, less like small girls, they like the big chicks. Because you know, he said he can call me, you know, uh, his baby. He said, baby, guess what? I don't let point point. Yeah, here is it. Ah, uh, so. Uh, hey, that one, whatever you want to say, you need a woman that must say this is where she is. She's not too much older than her people. And even if she was so much older than her people, again, there are younger okay. men who will come yeah. for older women. Me saying, yeah, they get younger men that can be coming for me as old as I am. And they know my age too and stuff like that. And they still be coming for me because I will stand on the rooftop and shout my age. I'm 43, I'm 43, I'm 43 every day. I will okay. not hide it. So people can say, oh, the person, I know when you say you are this, and at the end of the day, that this is the age you can't also. Every day, I will shout my age up so people can know. But then you exactly. still got people that are like 10 years, 5 years, 7 but years. Can I, can I make a comment? No. To be honest with you, I'm not going to date a governmental where I have to use the oxygen. I'm too feisty. I'm just too much. Okay. Do you think I want to kill somebody in the back? No, and to be honest with you, I'm 43, but you know, I really don't want to date somebody who's around my age group, 43 or even 44, because the the puppy then brand now, the puppy then not get it, the the, the stamina. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, I, you always gotta have the oxygen next to your bed so you can. They don't have the stamina. I want to tell people their story here, yeah. but at the end of the day, man. Somebody in my age group could not get it, or honey. Could not. And it was an embarrassing situation. I had to call me. But I was yeah. like, damn. So at the what end of the I day, ma, you got to you gotta fish in good. My ladies, you got to fish in good. You don't get money. People now with a different stigma. Everybody get their own thing. Some people gay. Some people bisexual. Some people transgender, some people trans dress in our community. Some people let when they 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 they, they I know they kind of point point. The people let point point. Some people let the oldies. Some people let the youngies. So at the end of the day, anyone that hits your fancy, as one of my my my, my audience or my, my my fans just said, age is nothing but a number. Thank you. So anything that fits your fancy, you go there. You do what you gotta do. When it comes to people's sexuality, sometimes, you know, we got to be a little light on it because we all get meter that we not run. Mm? Exactly. So at the end of the day, that's just what it is. But I can yes. tell you guys for a fact, there's a lot of younger men that like older girls like me. Let's yeah, keep on moving. Point, point. <laughs> and by the way, so Jessica, let me just make you understand the fur report on my hobby is muscle, the if I and the D is good. So, hey, he got me for life. Jeanette, yeah, Jeanette, I want a true, but if you want to stay younger, you got to love for young bloods. <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch you. Let me stop you. This is not my show. Let go to your study. Since you we got to have a sex talk one day. I no, we got to do a sex. We got to come back with our men that special show because I do what you do. Invite me, I will come and talk about We gotta come and talk about a midnight special, okay? Because I always be saying that when I was a young girl, that all the papa used to look for young girls and stuff like that during my time. They always look for young girls, and I always used to wonder why the papa didn't let it small, small, and, 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 and stuff like that. And the reason why they like it is the fact that you go out with a younger person and you remain young. Mm -hmm. You go out with old blood, you remain old. 
so that I looking. And for some of us, we just too much. It doesn't matter if we were 100 years old. <laughs> we too, I cannot date somebody in a 60 or 70. I will kill them. No, 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 no. I don't know, old papa. I'll tell you a fact. I don't know, old papa. Either around my age group. Or you somewhere below that number and stuff like that because I don't let no opa pen. Opa pen, they, they don't work. And you know the, the thing about the opa pen is is this: you're not going to give me what I want, and you're going to be acting crazy on me. And I can't allow two things to battle one call. You understand know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you're not going to be. You can't do the thing right, and then you you don't have good attitude because most of the old guys and you can't change their ways. So that two 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 things and battling one call, no, it will not happen like that. It has yeah, something has to yeah. give. So pretty much that's what it is. Okay. So yes, let's move on. The Audrey situation. Yeah, before we move on, my question is to you, why is it this young boy not finding the young girl they're looking for the cougars? I'm um, at least maybe you can answer <laughs> that because as young as you guys are out there, why are the young guys they're not picking you guys? Then that's gotta be I don't know. We gotta we gotta bring a younger man on the stage to ask him what's going on because as for me, I don't know why, but you know, I, I sometimes I'd be really surprised and sometimes it's embarrassing and to me, you know, when these younger men come around and stuff like that, I'd be like, I'm older than you and they'd be like aging number or number or blah 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 and stuff like that. So we gotta find out why the younger men I leave it. Sometimes they want to be taught, though. Sometimes they say we know everything already, and then you know they want to be taught about certain things. But you know what? Let's keep this thing for another another yeah, night. Yeah. Thank you. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> but tell me, I'll be drawing the comment. It's beautiful. I'm glad that we can give. We can at least pay attention to us tonight. That's important. So, Papa, they get fired. So, Papa, they get fired. But, so, Papa, they have fees. See, they take care of his things. <laughs> And then they get powers on the end too. They can't stay there. Get powers. I can't go. People don't mean that you can't. You don't know, give me my direct point, and then you get powers in you and stuff like that. It can't work. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> at least I'm catching you out with a passive because of that behavior. At least I'm be getting something good. Well, you know, I give them good time just so that I rest and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. But you go and sit there, you have to pay the ticket. Then after that, you start to get trouble. Then after that, actually, I was talking to one. He has to always take the Viagra. I said, "What?" He also went to the Viagra. Yeah, they be taking, they be taking that drug and stuff like that. It's just, you know, I'm sorry, but no, no. I, 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 I'm okay with where I am in my life. I don't need your old man to take care of me, to be honest with you. No, I don't need it. So I don't want no old papi, okay? So all the old papi there around, anywhere from 43 going, don't come around me. I don't need you, okay? <laughs> Anybody from 43 going, you are old. I don't need you around me. No, honestly, because they get a problems and some of them, they, 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 they're not sexually active the way they're supposed to be sexually active. But let's go back to our topic. Let, 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 go, let go back to our topic. So Audrey is supposed to be going home tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I heard that, you know, she she got some things to take care of when she get home. But we're going to keep it for Friday because, again, that's not my cheese. And I'm not going in that area there to venture into it until Friday. When Friday comes, we're going to talk about it. What do you think about this whole thing? What have you learned about this whole thing? Uh, I have learned a lot of things. And for people that are out there, uh, watching the show, this is a green light for everybody. Mm -hmm. You see in life sometimes when somebody gave you advice, mm -hmm. sit down and think because it's a grateful thing that you can find somebody who will come up and be bold mm -hmm. and blunt mm -hmm. to tell you, hey, this will not be good for you. I know right now she wish that it can go rerun to when she was communicating with me and when I just laid it up on her. And tell her everything. Mm -hmm. But uh, my advice to her is now I'm speaking for you know all the Cheche Kore committee department on Facebook. Mm -hmm. No office because currently I'm in my office right now. Right. So <laughs> yeah. Um we should keep us in our prayer because it's very disgraceful. 
It's very embarrassing. It's just that we, as African, we are strong people, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we, we, I know we can come out and give the G's because at the end of the day, she was giving G's. And one thing I want to tell her yet today, mm -hmm. be careful. Be careful who you mess with in a walk of life. It doesn't matter if it's at your job, your family, or Facebook, whatever the case may be. Be careful because there are some people when you do things that when that happened to me, I stood in my room butt naked and I look up to God and say, God, I know one day you'll find my body. And one day, the people that saw me as a bad person at that time, today, today will be Jolene for me. Right. And a lot of people, they're calling me. You know what they've been telling me? Today, I talked to one of the biggest designers. I spoke with uh, Pressure PC today. She said, love, I just God doing his job, sweetheart. And that's why you call comment. Comment, she comes by whenever. She can come by in different forms. You understand? So my advice to her is never kind of isolate herself from Facebook because she is stressed. She is depressed. Look, you can see it in her face. You know, she don't need to come out. The media, let me tell you something about it. Honey, when I was accused of being still, you remember I said, Jessica, I leave cars out of there free? Right. Everybody accused me of stealing one with that up open. I never responded. It took me at least six months or a year before I could respond because at the end of the day, people are going to believe what they believe. It right. does, you can't change it. There are some things you can't change. And there are some people, Audrey, come closer. Let me just tell you something. You see, now your little Aussie Aussie is a very illiterate city you live in. People over there cannot even style themselves correctly, right? You guys come on the Facebook, you all learn a lot of stuff from us. You are, even if you not like the person, don't discredit them. You see the post that you are writing about me? I opened my website, all right? You went on Facebook calling me a fraud. My question is, have I stole from you? Have I go to anybody else, anybody I call you and say, CG stole my credit card? Only when I went to Liberia, when I got set up, in which I bounced by, I cleaned up that set up because I just donated to 700 kids. So right now, everything that lady said, right now, a lot of people that have a lot of things to say doing that, time, they have called me personally, and they are apologized to me. Right. See, we sorry. We just, I say it's okay. It's called entertainment. Right. Okay? So don't think you will go on Facebook and things say, you know, whatever you say, it would make us deter. Right. Honey, we are rock. I've been in again, let's say, Jessica, tell you, first girl, I have TV show in the great United States. So they are got a phone call. They are asking me to go on LEA and do a live stream. Uh -huh. Okay? Because when I show up somewhere, I leave my full print there. Right. I don't just show up for, you know, oh, CC was here. I make sure I make an impact. I leave it there, I move from there. Okay. So I have learned that not everybody I will talk to. And when I go to Liberia, my boyfriend already tell me he's not going to have my bar beyond any governmental thing. Okay. They will find me floating over the river. <laughs> he told me straight up, you're not playing that with me. You are not playing that with me. And which I have to respect my man. I decide you, if you want to be a one person there, be a one person there because that's small country. Everybody knows everybody in our country. So now this is a lesson learned. You sit on Facebook, you cost me a whore. But at least the whore went well with one person. Everybody saw me with one male. You claim that I'm a whore, right? But you not a whore. You got brutal bottle. Can you imagine how shameful and disgraceful that is? You know, and I will keep you in my prayer. Do I have anything against you? No, because I will be in Australia very soon and I would like to meet you again and speak to you. And one thing I tell you, they face both things. I don't take it serious because when I see you, whatever you want to say to me, I'm fine with it. Express yourself. See? So moving forward and for my butt, when I bake the cake, I put the icy on it, which is I was the first entertainer that I ever bought the manager a car. Check. I put you in a nice house. I took you from the slum. And then you stole my business money. Wish wow. I got the receipts. 
I started a WUCA or C shot so we can have your own balance and start being a liability because I said when I was working with you, you was a liability for me. I had to be the one spinning. So imagine right now what's going on with her. That would say we're jealous now that, that Audrey said we're jealous. Yes. But what did Audrey get? No. Audrey, you know what happened? That Friday you will be disgraced. <laughs> I'm even trying to talk right now. You say yeah. somebody jealous of you. What till you care, honey, that somebody will be jealous of you? The, the only way oh, she can say I'm jealous, Ali, let me go find Coromento and get beat up. Then that's but now you're one she talking to. Yeah. Now you're one she talking to. But okay, you know what happened? And okay. she heard me. I was in Liberia. Can you just, can you just ask her? ACT was just, it's not free men land. Why she didn't? Hey, look, I will tell you three places I met her. She can say she lived right behind the little tailor shop there in the little three bedroom mm. house. I met you cutting the grass. You say you are taking picture doing Zoko, Prime or damn river. Y'all go for a little. I don't even know. Friday, how Friday we will understand. Friday we yeah. will be able to bring Audrey's life in Australia. That y'all already in Australia. Y'all know how she living. We'll be able to bring it there, and I will be able to mm -hmm. find her now from the audience and from people that are watching. If Somebody's supposed to be jealous of such a life. Yeah, so we, we Friday. 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 Friday will understand. Okay. So Sissy, any last words you want to give before we leave? Yes. Uh if you watch here from La Brother, don't forget ya to check out my CC making for brother. Yes, my business been running since 2017. You do the math. <laughs> CC Mason for Brother um, is there, and uh, it's on GSA Road. Go follow the page, the Mason store. And uh, I just want to say happy birthday to my king. Today is his birthday, so I'm going to dedicate my oh. whole page to him. They say they, 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 they go, they go up and I get money. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Audrey, you missed that thing. Oh, oh, Lady honey. Lady J, I yes. know you're going to. <laughs> you see, I told, I told Harvey, certain people call me on the show. I can't say no. And I say no, they will call me us at two one day. He said, okay, just be careful. So, what I want to say here, yeah, all along, that now he told me to let everything out because we met him in the week in We met him in Raider with my boyfriend, and he said, Me? How can you miss all around like that? You go, you you say you won't be with bro nigga, but you are with bro nigga. You say you won't be with comment on Kwapa, the comment on Kwapa, why you went for the man and get money? Then you went between the, the bro nigga and the comment on Kwapa, you went for the newest comedian on the planet, bro, in your own grade. Again, oh. honey, what exactly did you go to Liberia for? Man, I mean, you... Shh, oh, but can I say something about that before I leave? The reason why that comedian Eva on great it was a payback because his girlfriend, El Frankie, had eaten his girlfriend on great. <laughs> All right. The comedian, yeah, the comedian, yeah. I want to bring the comedian on. Yeah, bring it. Comedian, on. if you want to come, on, say yes. <laughs> Hey, Jay, you are dangerous, sweetheart. I Comedian, if you want to come on, say yes. And I will bring you on. If you want to come on, say yes. So it was a payback. Oh, it was a payback. If the comedian wants to come on, you are welcome to the show, Comedian. And if you want to come on, just say yes. And if you are on TV, I won't tell you. Oh, this is too so funny, man. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, I see your knee. Yeah. I can't forget our knee. Because our knee was screenshot yesterday on the on on. It's okay, it's yeah. I just it's okay, sir. Just come here, please start. Oh. <laughs>
I don't know. I don't know why people be, you know, sometimes it's just not good to answer the people that are watching and giving whatever, because at the end of the day, people will have their opinions and you are welcome to your opinions as I am to mine. The only thing I ask is if you have your opinions and you're okay with it, be okay with mine too, so we can be on that, you know, level okay. So if y'all say I got problem with her, no problem. I don't understand what the problem that y'all might be thinking about. It's this is okay. the inter this is they the entertainment industry. They always have with other people this is the entertainment so industry. This is a savage. This is a savage industry. That means we talk about what is going on. In my yeah. own can you are talking about it? Yeah, my own can can sometimes you be talking about it. The lies sometimes can can you can be talking about it. Every Entertainer is a hot topic, so when it can't talk and about it, we're not cussing. Most of them be frustrated, they be cussing. You know, day, yeah, nobody we, cussing. We intelligent, yeah. We just speaking out. You know what we know, and we say the fact. Hey, Amen. And then may not want to come on. <laughs> and then may don't want to come on. Are you bringing professor on? I come in. Let me go back to 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 one of my peoples. Oh, they say the president gave they 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 um sign and they 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 when government or guapa or job and he went behind the papi and started eating one the papi oh girlfriend so they took the job for him all day they say he approaching people with his broke ass oops damn man Audrey you not pick good person man. I, 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 I'm kind of like disappointed in you because for a, for a big Jew like you going to Liberia, man, you should have been able to, you know, get something from there if you know you are on a hustle. It's nothing wrong with going on a hustle, honey. Nothing wrong with living from your country. Guys, they can live from America, Canada, Europe, Asia, Australia, all the time and go on a hustle. But when your friend is going on a hustle, honey, they know they're going to shake it in. When they get there, the hotel ready, the car ready, the, the money ready and stuff like that. So that kind of thing that you go in, man, you just go waste your, 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 your good little things like that. You wasted those things for free. Because you say you want to call a mental cop, because you tell the government cop that your own words that we're using, that's not even somebody that said this. You thought that man had money. Hey, Jessica, I want to ask you, for people who are not whole, where is the... What is the definition of whore? People that sleep with two to three different men or people that sleep with one man, everybody knows. I mean, I don't know the definition. Amen. Because that's the term she used for me one time. <laughs> ma, let's just leave that one. Audrey, the only thing I can say to you, ma, you need to either talk to a bigger sister to kind of help you get your game about or something because... It. She she got the popularity she won now. We now work on you. Because you for you to the actually go to La Bureau with the mind of, you know, being like one of the beach. You see how many Minnesota girls and when they go to La Bureau? I don't know your Aussie girls and what right. You prefer we feel we in it on the show. Let me talk something. I don't know your Aussie girls and what really wrong with you. Mm? I want to understand what is wrong with the culture and society in Australia. Mm? Not all of y'all, but some of y'all. Y'all don't represent at all. Y'all all up talk show say she went over there. She went for her own apartment too. It was not see, easy. Me, see, I'm closing my face. No, man, don't much close much your face. face. No, it's too much shame. I'm so sorry. And then at the end of the day, you too, Audrey, you went over there. You went for your own apartment too and stuff like that. Like, what's up with you? You are camp, you are called some Minnesota girls then, some girls then here in the US of A. Let me show you how to do it. If you want to do the work here, you all kind of know how to do it. But my thing is, they're always talking about America. Because, why are they not learning something? Because when they went over there now, even though they went to the small, to the to the to the to the, to the, the big name boyfriends, then they went to, but yet they still they were still sneaking on the big name boyfriend to go eat, chop the the, the the government officials. I said that all the Aussie girls, so I said the one that I can't all that the one that not show me. I'm not saying all oh, because it cannot be a generalized. No, I'm so intelligent to be generalized to generalize things. It cannot be. Everybody cannot be the same. So I just want to reiterate. No, I didn't say all. Oh, but some of y'all, at least the, the, the people that we have seen come up in the, in the public and express themselves, y'all need to call American girls and ask them how to do it. Before the girls then leave from here, that the thing that they want to do. At the end of the day, one, they got at their hotel pay for. They got a car waiting for them to the airport. Because they know when they go, they're going to go to the work. 
and I work on to take care of them for about three to six months before they go back. They get people then, you know, like now black, they said there, about, you know, they, they get the one that bought a ticket, the one that they're going to be, you know, hiding to be sneaking there, but they stay getting the lay keke shoes. But you go over there, you start walking in the sun, they, you're, you're, doing, you're using chapia to be cutting around GSA row. And all the kind of things and stuff like that. Then on top of it. Then on top of it. Somebody go take the hand and be one of your and tell your apple on will boss. I mean, this is not how the big Jew thing works. It doesn't work like that. So I'm not saying all Aussie girls, but the, 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 the two examples that I have seen tells me your need some elegance and and etiquette and, 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 and some decorum <laughs> some decorum and some 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 wisdom lessons so that when you are going to liberia on such or or a move you know how to go and you know how to come back so when you come back you can be sitting pretty i got some friend here in minnesota not my friends but associate people that i know that when they go to La Bureau, they spend up for one month there. When they come back, they don't work for at least six months. Then they go again and stuff like that. If that's the kind of person you want to be, there's something. But don't go, you go use your little toilet like that. Nothing comes from inside it. I know if you get Victoria's Secret in Australia, I think you got it. All your little Victoria's Secret or Walmart painting then, all guests in there inside. Then no way to buy soap in La Pira to wash the panties. No way to even I send the panties to the, 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 to the washer and the dryer, to the, to the cleaners to, to, to do it. And then when you come in by fast thing, you not get on you to say you will stop to the, 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 the duty-free when you get to the, your midway to be able to buy some duty-free stuff like perfume to so spray on you. And no, man. that this, this is a losing battle. What? This is a losing battle. If you're going to go that way, honey, you got to be strong. You got to have sense. And you got to be able to know how to make some connection. And you just go over there to go be you to the market door. Then you just go use your cellar that and all the men you choose were broke men. And the, the thing is, Australia is so far. They, they are farther than us, though. They're very far. All the men. That long. sister choose oh, are broke men. These are only the ones that we know because the ones that we know, we even know because they said there was some in between teen and two that DJ we see were already first because they say eh, eh, they were eating some teen on the side. No, this is not good. This they is they not good. They said they left to kill her or calling her bossy or laying it to other shit. No, this is not good. I can't tell anybody how to use that toilet because we all get our different different mileage on it. Yeah. But at the end of the day, well, if, don't accuse people of being whore and you the number one whore. Damn, they said it, no man, no 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 no. You know what time it is, so hey. Call my some of my call some of my associates here in Minnesota. Yeah, then teach you the the art of going to Liberia. Hmm. <laughs> There's an art involved in going to Liberia. There's an art involved in it. So if that's the way you want to go, if you want to be like the CC Martins, that's a different story. If you want to be like the Jessicas, that's a different story. But if you want to be like the Aussies, that's a different story. Aussie, I need for somebody in that Australia there to come and clear your knee from the player where you're not for yourself. Well. Because the place here is an embarrassing, it's an embarrassing place that you're not for yourself and you need. All joke is sad, torso, left torso. It, 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 the, the reports that are coming back are not good reports. Mm? It's not good reports at all. I am very disappointed. These are detrimental times. And you guys are saying that over there, allowing yourself to be used for nothing. Because I'm sure no love for in that situation and stuff like that. That being we're going to be looking for, being in, being not. Eh? <laughs> Bye. Bye, Sissy. Thank you.
Thank you for being on the show. We'll do this again. That was CC Maintain people. Oh no, man. I feel so bad, to be honest. I, I, I feel real bad for you know this kind of thing because I mean what's up with this? Why go through all the trouble if you know that you just going to nah? Y'all gotta do better. And I didn't say all of y'all, I said some of y'all. So y'all please listen to English. English is very, very hard. Comprehending English is hard. But y'all need to come up, Aussie girls, y'all need to come up with something different. You got this going to Liberia yeah, and, you know, being with, you know, certain things and then you be sneaky and stuff like that. It's not good. But this is what I have to say. I want to say thanks to you guys for being on the show. The reason why I wanted to come back on the show today was because of some of the news that I got from, you know, about Audrey. And I wanted to come on the show as much as, you know, we can laugh and joke at the end of the day, everybody owns their own thing when it comes to what they want to do and how they want to be. But I'm just, you know, a little disappointed again in the way things went, no matter what she did or what she didn't do. I didn't think that she, she, she deserved to be beat up like the way she was beat up. And I feel that when a person is, you know, domestically, um, um, abused, there should be a way that the, the society or the community should have ways and means of putting their hands around her. People, you know, sending things to my inbox and saying stuff like, oh, it's karma that got her because of what she did to her ex-husband and all those things and stuff like that. Um, I wouldn't wish that on, you know, my worst enemy, but at the end of the day, I still feel that there was a better way that she could have carried herself in this situation to be able to step out of what has happened. Um, when we go to Liberia, let's be private with our lives, really private, and let's take time, take inventory of who we allow to come around us in regards to the characters, because not everybody is going to treat you like the queen that you're supposed to be treated like. Let's put our joke aside. Yeah, people go like, bureau, you know, they got to pay things and ready to go and stuff like that. Yeah, that's true. But at the end of the day, if you're going like bureau and you're going to be with a, a, a name, somebody that only has a name, and at the end of the day, they just put their hands on you and beat you for nothing, and then you have to go home hurting, it's not a rewarding vacation for you. So with all that being said, we can laugh and something like that. I just feel so bad. No matter what you say about me or you or what you got to say or insult me or whatever it is, I feel really, really bad for you. I'm kind of like disappointed in some of the choices that you made. And I hope when you go back, you will be able to rethink about things that you want to do when you're going back to Liberia because Liberia may seem like it's small, but Liberia, Liberia may seem like it's big. But Liberia is very small in regards to how information travel. Your team, the people around you, they didn't do due diligence to you at all in regards to what has happened. But sometimes when you put yourself in a detrimental situation, these things will occur. And when they occur and the media is there to take it and talk about it, we will take it and we will talk about it. So I feel really bad about what has happened to you. I really do at the end of the day. Please try to make better decisions. And, you know, this goes to all of us. Let's try to make better decisions when it comes to what we do. Because when things like this come up, it's time that people talk about it for you to be able to learn from it, to be able to move on. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why, again, I do not be showing nobody to nobody. Because at the end of the day, you have to be able to nurture a relationship to reach to a certain place. To be able to say this person for me, that person for me, yada yada yada. Mm? A lot of times we we make that mistake to 
start introducing people to our um you know to the people then that we feel we're supposed to do them to you know to introduce our our crowd or our fans and stuff like that and sometimes it's just not the right thing to do so um well we've come to uh the end of the show and this song is um dedicated to my girl j2 she loved this song from teddy Ra. So that's the song that I'm going to be ending with. Yeah.